data code book in SPSS. Data code book provides information about the data and the structure of the data and the variables within the data. Uh, the code book will provide the names of the variables, description for each variable, unit of measurement for each variable, and coding if there is any coding within the variable. The code book also will provide and show the data structure. It will also show the missing values within variables the data source and where the data is extracted from and the code book will also show the uh, variable range if there is any data transformation will also be shown by the code book the code book also will show the outliers if there is an outliers and outliers are an extreme high values or low values within the variable or the data. Uh, furthermore, the code book will show any errors in the data. To produce a code book for data in SPSS, here I had placed a data and as shown here, the data consists of several variables. The first variable is a nominal variable in which the names of individual is inserted. The second variable is a nominal variable. It is a gender uh, as it has only two categories in it, male or females. The third variable is a scale uh, variable or continuous variable, which is the age. The age of each participant is inserted here. As shown in the variable for age, there is a missing value. The next variable is the education. The education variable is coded from one to four. Um, the Next um, variable is the job variable. A job variable is a nominal variable. Uh, the next uh, variable is a salary variable. The salary is a continuous variable. Satisfaction variable is a ordinal variable. An ordinal variable is categorial variable that have categories in it. Uh, and five point Likert scale is used for the satisfaction variable. Likert scales from uh, one to five. One uh, describes the response or the options for strongly disagree and five for strongly agree. The next variable is home owner, whether you, are, you own a home or not. So it is a nominal variable. The if member, family member is a scale a variable or continuous variable. There are few missing values for some of these variables. The family member, the credit and the cars are all scale variable or uh, continuous variables. Clicking on the variable view as shown here, the proper labeling for each variable is given and the unit of measurement whether it's a nominal scale or ordinal is uh, described here to generate the code book for this data set there are two ways the first one is to click on the menu here for file and then scroll down to the uh, display um, data file information tick on and select the working file an output is generated with two tables in it the first table shows the variable information the second table shows the variable 
values for uh, variables that uh, either it is ordinal or nominal or multinomial. The first table shows the, the variables and the name of the variables. The first variable is the name, the gender, the age, and uh, the education, job, salary, and so on. The second uh, column here shows the position of that variable in the data uh, view. And if there is a label for the variable is also indicated here. And the measurement level is also presented in this table, whether the variable is nominal, scale, or ordinal. And then further information is given about the um, column width and the alignment. Moving to the second table for the variable values, as shown here, the gender is given two labels, males and females, one for males and two for females. And for education, there are four levels of education from one to four, as shown here. And for jobs, uh, five categories from doctors to dentist and for satisfaction, which is a uh, five point like scale from one to five. Uh, one for strongly disagree and uh, five for strongly agree. Homeowner is a binomial uh, variable uh, which has two uh, categories in it. Either you are a homeowner or not. So this is the first way to uh, generate a description for the data. The, the second way to generate the code book for the data click on analyze then scroll down to reports and then uh, select code book in the code book and i'm going to reset this uh, window in the code book in the variable select the uh, variable or list of variables to generate code book uh, move them to the box here for code book variables Click on the output in the output for the code book. What information will be uh, generated? The variable position, the labels of the variable, the type, the format, the measurement level, the role, the value, labels, the missing values, the custom attributes. Uh, if we click on statistics again to generate the code book, book that contain counts and percents uh, counts and percent need to be ticked and for central tendency and dispersion tick on the mean standard deviation and quartiles if i click on ok uh, an output is generated as shown here for the first variable the code book for each individual variable in a data set is produced showing here that uh, the position of the variable if there is a, a label for the variable the type of that data within that variable is a string so it is nominal and uh, as shown here measurement is nominal and, and it includes uh, names of uh, individual in that uh, variable if we move to the next variable which is the gender the code book for the gender shows uh, the position in the data set uh, type of the data is numeric measurement is nominal and uh, the valid values is one and two males and females and the count is given with the percentage for the next age uh, variable the code book is presented here showing that this uh, variable is numeric it is uh, as measured at a scale level there are 94 valid scores and four missing values so this code book shows that this variable have four missing values in it the mean is given here, the standard deviation with the percentile 25, 50, and 75 percentile. Moving to the next 
code book for the uh, education variable it is a, a type numeric measured as ordinal and as shown here there is a mistyping or error in the data as there is a zero value here and also there is a value of seven and this variable have only four categories in it from one to four so this code book shows that there is a, a typing error here and also it shows that there is a missing value or values two missing values moving to the job code book it is a numeric type measurement is nominal multinomial and again there is a mistyping zero value and there are five categories in the variable here so the code book shows that there is a typing error with no missing values moving to the salary code book salary is a scale variable there are 97 valid scores and one missing values the mean and the standard deviation and a percentile is given for this uh, uh, scale variable uh, the code book for the satisfaction which is based on five point lighted scale is uh, an ordinal variable with a, a typing error of a zero value and a value from one to five is uh, coded for the five responses or options moving to the home owner code book it is a nominal variable there is a uh, zero value in the data uh, two zero values and uh, that's also a typing error as the option is either you have if you are either you are a homeowner or not moving to the code book for the family member it is a scale variable there are 97 uh, scores and one missing values mean and standard deviation and percentile are given here and for the uh, credits is a, a scale variable uh, it has uh, 98 uh, uh, valid um, scores with no missing values in it and the uh, central tendency and dispersion is given and for the number of cars is a, a scale variable with zero missing values as shown from the code book and the means standard deviations um, are given here and so on so this is the way to generate a code book for data in SPSS if you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session 
or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages my contact details are given here so don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course